Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Big day today, very exciting. We've got some unboxing to do. This one's not all that exciting, but you'll see it's necessary. Uh, this is a product that I'm, at least I think, this is largely a product that I've been very excited to try out. Really interesting wood finishing product uh, and something that you guys will be able to use at home, indoors. It's not chemical based really. It's this is going to be good. This is going to be good for me and you, this is going to be good for us. And plus, I think I'm going to be able to film an above average for me unboxing here now that I've started using my phone as a video camera. Actually, I got a good, pretty good chuckle the other day. Someone said, your video quality has really improved. New camera? Like, yeah, I switched from a big DSLR to uh, my cell phone. All right, anyway, we've got basically wood finishing stuff here, which, uh, well, hey, that's what we do. So it's going to be interesting. It's not just paint. I don't think there's any point in me continuing to yammer on about it, though. Let's, uh, let's get these opened up and see what we've got. And then I'll decide if I'm using this on my great guitar build-off build. Party time. All right, I don't know which box to open first, so I'm just going to start on my right here because uh, I know which one to open last and it happens to be sitting on the left. Very necessary information that you all needed right there. This is heavy. This is heavy and uh, I can see why they double boxed it. If it's glass, it's probably pretty fragile. What am I getting myself into here, I wonder? Oh, yes. Well, this, this bothers my OCD. I don't, couldn't have just, okay. Well, anyway, awesome. So uh, let's get in a little tighter here. So in case uh, this wasn't clear, Odie's. We're working with Odie's oil. I'm going to have to do an entire separate video on Odie's oil because it's unique. Uh, <laughs> to put it, put it bluntly, I need to test it out, but it's a uh, hard wax oil. It's not a typical, you know, wipe on, wipe off oil. It's not a film finish. Okay, so we've got, let's just take a look at what we've got. I'm not going to explain it all in this video. We'll do it in another one. So this is all going to be upside down for you guys, isn't it? Let's, let's fix that. Okay, so for starters, Odie's Dark Wax. So they've got penetrating oil, uh, wax, normal oil. And when I say normal oil, it's still a hard wax oil. And they've got butter. I have literally like a, a whole page of notes on my computer about how I'm going to work with this stuff, what, what order I'm going to use it in. This is the Odie's Dark Oil, the original, um, but dark. <sighs> I got a lot of information about this stuff. I'm very excited about it. This is the classic wax, I guess. The classic oil. What is in that other box then? This is what I thought I was getting. Oh, the super duper everlasting oil. This is going to be very interesting. I'm going to use this to mix some stuff. Oh, man. There's so much. So cool. Creative Colors Walnut. Oh, these are the tints. That is a ton of pigment. By tint, I mean pigment. That is a lot. Ferrous Reactive. Oh, okay. This is going to be insane. Really looking forward to that. Is this the blue I asked for? Yep. Ultramarine blue. Stone gray. You know how I'm sure a lot of you have asked me, I, I know a lot of you have asked me if you can do like a white tint or a gray tint. And there are a couple ways to do it, but they're not great usually. I'm really excited to see how that stuff works. Port wine. You all know how much I love my brandy wine colors. Okay. That was awesome. Let's see what's in the other one. Styrofoam, other foam. Okay, what is going on here? This is, is this two styrofoam boxes? Oh boy, well that looks promising. Okay, I think this is the super penetrating oil. I think it comes in like a, not a typical jar, but like more of a glass bottle type set of circumstances here. But let's see. I probably shouldn't do too much speculating. This is gigantic. Super penetrating oil. 
oh yeah. So you can see this stuff's a little thinner um, and it's penetrating. Makes sense, right? Brian, I know you're planning on making a joke there and I am looking forward to it. So I'll say it again, penetrating. All right, and this should be basically the same, I think. Oh no, this is the solvent. Okay, so none of this stuff is solvent based, but, uh, oh, I can smell that in a, in a good way. <laughs> These solvents always smell absolutely disgusting. This is, that's why it came a little loose. This stuff um, smells like oranges. I'm not gonna taste it, uh, but it's a food grade citrus solvent. So maybe I could, maybe I'll make a cocktail. No, I probably won't make a cocktail. Anyway, uh, I don't really like cocktails. I like my liquor pretty much the way it comes out of the bottle. This is if you want to make a solvent-based wiping finish. I probably won't. Uh, well, no, I will. I'll test it out because it's going to work well with the pigments. But you don't need to. Kind of the idea behind all of this stuff is you can use this in your, well, you can use this in your kitchen, I guess. You probably use that to clean your countertops. Um, but you can use all of this stuff without solvent if you want to. I, I'm really excited to work with this. And I know a lot of you guys have constraints uh, in terms of what you can do for finishing. A lot of you are finishing you know, in, in apartments and stuff like that. This is a finish that you can use there. And it's really easy to use. You don't have to spray it. Uh, it's a buff on, buff off for the most part. So what you're gonna use to apply it is something like this, which is why I bought a whole box of these non-abrasive really but this is just a, a pad i'm gonna chop some of these and use these as my finishing pads for when i'm working with odie's oil i'm really excited about it these pads i'm going to have available in the amazon link in the description if anybody's looking for them but so if you go through my amazon link it helps me out it's a paid link obviously uh, but my other paid link is the solo music gear one the solo guitars link a lot of you have used it i really appreciate it and solo now has Odie's Oil. So I had a, like an hour and a half phone call with a guy who works for Odie's Oil, helps design these things, works with them all the time. Got a real good rundown. Really excited to work with these. If you're looking for the Odie's Oil stuff, please feel free to pick it up through the Solo Music Gear link in the description. That helps me out and I would appreciate it. Well guys, obviously it's B-roll time. So let's take a closer look at a couple of these. All of them. We're going to take a closer look at all of them, literally. Let's get on it. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are the Odie's Oil products that I have available to me to try out, and I'm gonna be doing so. Do me a favor, let me know in the comment section below which one of these things you're most excited for, and which one of these colors you like the best. I'm really excited to try this ultramarine blue. I mean, the guy who, I can say this now because they've already sent me the product, no take backsies. The guy who invented this, his name is Odysseus Cornwall. So you gotta assume he had a lot of time to work on the chemistry here. It's not like he was going out to parties or anything like that. I think this stuff's gonna be awesome and you can put it over a ton of different substrates, finishes. Again, we'll, we'll get into the details in, uh, in a later video. I'll try not to get too technical on you. We won't nerd out too much and talk about cross-linking and all that for 20 minutes, but it'll be good, it'll be good. 
As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It helps me out. And remember to subscribe so you can see us test all of these things out. It's going to be fun. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.